Hey guys, it's Rhett from the 100 Acre Wood Highlands. Today we are taking Penny's calf, that was the breech calf that we had to pull, taking him into the vet to uh, be castrated, get his shots. Got a little bit of bling to go in his ear for his new home. We're gonna check, uh, take Irina in to check to make sure she didn't accidentally get bred by that uh, Hereford bull that got in. And then it's been so dang hot, I have ordered some uh, special mineral tubs to deal with this Oklahoma heat. So let's check it out. So Penny's calf is now a little over six months old, about six and a half months old. And we have found a family, or a family found us really, from a Shawnee that just wants a couple of pet steers. And so they've got a different calf already on the farm and they are gonna be getting Penny's calf on Monday. And so uh, I just met him at the vet that we use and he got us a, a, an ear tag, met me there with an ear tag to put in the little calf's ear and his name is gonna be Doc. So they said that they're uh, Tombstone fans and this ear tag is pretty neat. It's got some, uh, looks like long horns and stuff on it. That's gonna be pretty cool to go in the uh, the calf's ear. I don't, I don't really have any unique ear tags to go in my cows, but uh, I thought that was pretty special that they're gonna do that on this little guy. Uh, but we're taking him in, gonna get him his shots and all that stuff and just get him ready and trying to get out, get loaded and get to the vet before it gets so hot because uh, man, it just seems like the weather has turned humid and hot early this year. Um, we had a heat index of over uh, 108 one day last week and they said that's the warmest it's been in two years. So uh, gotta get things early, uh, gotta get things done early on the farm. I've noticed the cows are spending time down in the shade, spending time down in the water. They're uh, grazing more in the morning sun and in the evening than they are the middle of the day. But that's just kind of how it goes around here in the summertime. They just like to lay low and stay cool. So I'm backing up to the trailer right now. I'm gonna head over there, get these uh, cows loaded up, and then we'll head on into the vet. I've had Doc in the corral with the other little steer that we're growing out to finish ourselves. And it looks like the rest of the cows that we've got over in this field are coming up to investigate. That's good because I want to catch two of them. So I think in addition to taking Doc and Irina in, we're going to take Jasper as well because uh, she's the right age now that we could uh, AI her. And so I think we'll kill two birds with one stone and take them all to the vet and get it all done at once. Might as well get that process started. Just get back up to the loading area here. That looks good. All right. Got the trailer up to where we need to load the calf by the ramp. Let's get this gate open here. All right, well, we got the trailer kind of up to our loading area. Get our gate open. Fix this up. And then I think we'll be able to get that little guy back there in no problem. Ready to go to the vet, little buddy? I've loaded you up in the trailer before. All right, so there's the calf we're, steer that we're keeping and growing out ourselves. We want you, little guy. Oh, a little nervous acting. That's okay. All right, little guy, I need you. This is a trick, I don't want to catch the big one. There you go. Get in there. Well, that wasn't bad. Come on now, come on now. Perfect, keep it up. Hallie's coming to investigate. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on now, guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go in that trailer. Go. Nope. Hoop, hoop. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Mm. Turn around. Here it goes. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Let's see if we can get Irina and Jasper in here. Come on, cows. Come on. But they'd come to a little cubes. Here, cows, here. Come on. Come on, cows. I think I just heard one of their horns hit my truck. Here. Dang, that little white heifer was trying to get at one of those little calves. Looks like her horn hit right across my truck. Get in there, Irina. That dang white heifer putting dents in my truck. Well, that's a bummer. I don't like getting dents in my truck, but I guess if you're gonna drive it into a field full of cows with horns, it's probably gonna happen eventually. It's not that bad. Well, give them a second to eat some of these cubes so that they won't be so distracted, and then we'll get them all loaded up, <clears throat> head to the vet. So I've lost my GoPro, <clears throat> lost my camera too. So I'm recording all this off my phone, but uh, we moved off the farm about two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. And it's the first time since I was three years old that I haven't lived either on this property here or the adjacent family farm. We moved out there when I was three and uh, lived there Bought this 18 acres and this little bitty tiny farmhouse on it in 2017. And uh, at the time that I bought it, it was perfect. You know, the uh, really wanted the land. The house was only about a thousand square foot. It's about 75 years old. Um, but it works great for single, but it works great for a single guy. You know, wasn't married, uh, didn't have any kids, anything like that. But you guys know, uh, Lucy, my stepdaughter, she's to be almost eight, got married last October, and we are going to have a baby, Anna and I, in the fall. And so that little house of one bathroom was going to be tough. And so we had the opportunity to buy a house across the street from the farm, literally across the county street from the farm. So I was pretty sad. Um, you know, the week or so leading up to moving off the farm, I uh, was really kind of weirded out about just not being able to walk out my back door and be on the farm. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things uh, bad going on in the world, tough times economically and socially and other things that you could find stuff to complain about. And I, I don't want to complain at all about the opportunity that I've got to live in a bigger house more than one bathroom, that's pretty amazing. Dishwasher, wow, first world problems, dishwasher. That's amazing having a dishwasher. Um, so excited about our new place. Uh, excited that got the opportunity to have a growing space for the family and excited that I can just cross the street and be right back here with the cows. So farm isn't going anywhere. We're not selling this place, we're not selling the cows. But life is a little bit different over the last three weeks, but it's been a good thing. All right, they're about to get the last of the cubes there cleaned up, I think. So, these two girls, try to get them loaded up. Man, the flies are terrible. We've got the Redmond's garlic and all that stuff out, and I'm applying fly medicine to them, but that fly medicine seems like it helps for about 10 minutes, and then the flies are right back. So, yeah, flies are bad. There goes Irina. We'll get her in there. We gotta see about getting that little guy out though.
hoop, 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 hoop. I want you in there. I want you in there. Okay. Kick this little fella out. Come on now. Oh, big kick. Irina, you got to get in that trailer, girl. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, girl. Go. 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 Come on now. Go. 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 All right. Come on. Come on, Arena. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Come on, come on. Don't be a fuddy daddy now. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Go. Go. Go, come on. Uh, Irina. Whew. They did not want to go in there. I had to put the halter on Irina and Jasper, drag them in there. Couldn't record it with one hand, but they are loaded. I'm already hot and sweaty. Let's go to bed. All right, well, we got done at the vet, got Doc banded, got him his vaccines, got him wormed, got his ear tag in. And the good news from the vet is that Irina is open. She's not bred. So if you remember from uh, several weeks ago, probably getting pretty close to two months ago now, we had that Hereford bull get in and just, I just didn't want to take the chance that she might accidentally be bred. So we had an ultrasound on, on her and everything was good to go. Jasper, we had a cedar implanted into her so we'll take her back in about a week and uh, try AI again on her but after the vet I ran down to the feed store and got some new goodies it has been blazing hot it feels like it's way too early to be having days at 100 degrees or the heat index is over 100 and you know just recently saw a bunch of those cattle die in uh, Kansas from heat stress and who knows exactly what's going on there, but you know, fortunately here, the highlands have plenty of shade. They have plenty of fresh water. They've got plenty of ponds that they go get down in. And actually behind me here is a little bitty pond that several of them are in, but I bought some of these VitaFirm heat tubs. They are a protein, vitamin, and mineral supplement for beef cattle that is just full of stuff that's supposed to help them thrive in better or in hotter temperatures so it's supposed to be good for them and, and help them to maintain a good body condition and stay in good health and so i got one big uh, tub for this pasture and then we'll take a tub over there to the other pasture and uh, also got some fly medicine i'm gonna mess with that a different day but uh, flies have been terrible this year so i'm gonna pull this heavy hunk out of here and see what these girls think what do you think there old rosie
Watch your toes. Oh, that thing is heavy. So this basic area of the pasture is where we've got a, another mineral tub also. Looks like either the cows with their horns or the wind has ripped that off, but we've got uh, loose salt in one of the dividers and then probably running out. Yep, we had some Redmond's garlic salt uh, or the Redmond salt with garlic uh, in it, in that side, but it looks like it's all out. So we'll have to refill that soon. But I figured I'd throw this other mineral tub right here where they're used to finding their minerals. We're not real far from the pond right here, maybe about a little over a hundred yards. So this is a good spot where they can find it, run down there, get a quick drink if they want to. And then there's a little pond right over that hill where a lot of evenings they like to go sit in the shade. All right, well, we got Doc here in the pen. He'll be leaving the farm on Monday. And these other cows right here, we just dropped off a mineral tub for them. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram by searching 100 Acre Wood Highlands. We'll see you on the next video.